Today is the International Day of Sign Languages. The UN General Assembly has proclaimed September 23rd as a day to raise awareness of the importance of sign language in the full realization of the human rights of people who are deaf. The day provides a unique opportunity to support and protect the linguistic identity and cultural diversity for all deaf people and other sign language users. In 2020, the World Federation of the Deaf is issuing a Global Leaders Challenge. This challenge aims to promote the use of sign languages by local, national and global leaders in partnership with uh, national associations of deaf people in each country as well as other deaf-led organizations. According to the Federation, there are approximately 72 million deaf people worldwide. More than 80% of them live in developing countries, and they, collectively they use more than 300 different sign languages. To uh, speak more on the significance of this day, we are joined on the breakfast by a chairperson, Association of Sign Language Interpreters in Nigeria, John Bamidili, and uh, of course, uh, Precious Ozemene, uh, who's uh, a member of the See Here Initiative, will help in interpreting. Thank you both for joining us. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Uh, th this uh, doesn't seem like a popular celebration in Nigeria, does it? Well, while it appears so, the facts clearly shows that over the years, there has been very insufficient attention given to the culture of the deaf, especially in helping deaf people to get to hear the news or to get around, get employed. But it is only in recent time that sign language is gaining the right traction that it should have. So right now, the activity that is happening around the country is showing that attention is now being given to sign language for you. So we hope that in the very near future, it is going to be a popular celebration all over Nigeria. All right. And, and why would you say it is uh, necessary for everyone uh, to learn sign language? Yeah, well, sign language is a universal language. Uh, as, as much as I do know, we only have two languages in the world, spoken and sign languages. And uh, indeed, sign language is a language that is necessary for every aspect of human and people. Uh, for example, the, the security operatives need to use sign language so that they can use it to communicate, communicate in uh, uh, certain operations so as to be able to get by what they do. Uh, sign language is useful in commerce, in trade and business. Sign language is useful at the court system. Sign language is useful for a nursing mother to communicate with her baby. Sign language is useful for just virtually anything you want to think of. And so it clearly shows that if everyone learns sign language, you, you have a better life turn around. In fact, in recent time, there's a study that shows that if you teach a child sign language from, uh, from being a toddler, the mental capacity of that child is exceptionally developed more than his other peers because you are you are training or developing uh, the part of the brain that is usually not used by many other individuals. So it clearly shows that if we incorporate sign language in all that we do, we have better life turn around. We are able to communicate more with the deaf and we can apply it in various other aspects of life. Fantastic. Uh, the the uh, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities uh, makes clear that sign languages are equal in status uh, to spoken languages and obligates states also to, par um, um, rather state parties, to facilitate its learning to promote the linguistic identity of the deaf community. Um, has the Nigerian state shown uh, that it's taken this obligation seriously? My response would be an emphatic yes. 
despite the fact that uh, we have not had the right impact sufficient enough to say that we are there. The present administration has really worked hard to see to it that um, sign language is given priority, especially in Nigeria. I'll just give you a few uh, of the statistics that we have that can help you clearly understand what the government has done. Um, first was the domestication of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of People with Disability, now passed into law in Nigeria. And uh, at the advent of the COVID-19, the government, through the Minister of Information, was able to get sign language interpreters as well as the Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, where they were able to get sign language interpreters to interpret all the daily briefings of the PTF, as well as, for the first time in the history of Nigeria, uh, now we have news in sign language by 7 p.m. on NTA. We have uh, other strikes, like the recent um, establishment of the Commission for disabilities with the executive secretary being a deaf person and just yesterday at the British High Commission there were a lot of discussions around one major problem that has faced the deaf community over the years and that is the unification or having a central data bank of signs and structures that can be used in communication. Because before now, of course, uh, we have used um, American Sign Language for, for many who learn sign language. But now the commission is focused on establishing Nigerian Sign Language that will now be used. And the focus is to see that we have a central data bank we can refer to. And also, we can have the government declare Nigerian Sign Language as the official language for the deaf in Nigeria. So as much as I can see the activities of both the government as well as the major stakeholders using sign language interpreters and the deaf community, activities are gearing up and the situation is improving compared to 20 years ago when I came on board. So it clearly shows that the government is trying their best in doing what they can. And we are hoping that uh, going forward, we will have uh, more interesting outputs from the government as well as other stakeholders for okay. sign language for the benefit of the deaf. And, and uh, you know, still going to be asking more about what the, the government is doing. Um, more than 80% of the world, 72 million uh, deaf people live in developing countries like uh, Nigeria, uh, according to the World Federation of the Deaf. Um, how would you say we have fared when it comes to promoting sign language in our education system? Oh, I think um, before now, I would say uh, abysmally poor. The situation has been very, very critically low because uh, for many deaf that are turned out of school because they do not get to acquire first their first language, which is sign language, at the school, it affects how they learn English. You have exceptionally brilliant few deaf who are able to understand or differentiate sign language from English. And uh, at the educational system, you come to see that some who are educators or teachers of the deaf do not even have the requisite knowledge or understanding of what it means to teach a deaf child. Um, I have had interactions with um, teachers of the deaf and clearly some have uh, gone to the school to study special education simply because there are no other courses available. And hence, they end up teaching the deaf ones without the passion or the desire to do so. And we can see a lot of uh, impact on the deaf 
The one good thing is that uh, if the government, well, we are hoping that the pace at which they go now continues. If the government um, revamp the educational sector and focus more on re-engineering the process of educating the deaf, you can be sure that we will have many more deaf who will turn out to be exceptionally good. They will have um, good contribution to the society. Indeed, if, if um, we have a lot of work to do, yes, in the educational sector, we need to work on the curriculum of educating the deaf because you cannot expect a deaf child to, to start um, responding to questions on oral English that he has never heard before in his life. And uh, there are so many anomalies in the education of the deaf. But we are confident that uh, if the government keeps working hard on seeing to it that they compare what other, other states do, other countries do, we may be able to have a better light turnaround for the deaf and the sign language will be a language that many will be happy to use and, and proud of. All right, and um, um, lastly, what are some of the things that must be done if we are truly to promote sign language? I'm very happy for this question, especially because uh, right now uh, we we need to get we need to get uh, more persons involved in helping make sign language a national language. That's very important. There is also need for a central database of uh, central database of signs as well as an established structure of sign language that can be referenced in the central repository, uh, like online libraries, such that those who really want to learn sign language can always refer to this. And then um, there is need for an urgent call for the government, other uh, government agencies, uh, civil society organizations to take more keen interest in seeing to it that sign language is given priority and also for them to follow what has already been established in the various laws that has been that, that, that are there to get their people employed and this move them to get sign language interpreters to work with them and also have constant and consistent trainings for all across board Everyone should just be interested in sign language so that in the end, we, we would have a society that is all inclusive, that um, does not uh, segregate anyone. So I think all of these and many more will, will really go a long way to improve the life turnaround of deaf and the use of sign languages here in uh, Nigeria. John uh, Bamidele and, uh, of course, uh, Precious Ozemene, thank you both for uh, joining us this morning and uh, happy International Sign Language Day. Thank you very much. We really appreciate being here. Thank you, Precious.